We are going to start with the bottom of our bag. For that we will start with a slip knot. Just wrap around two fingers. Grab the second yarn and release. Now I'm going to chain 72. One, two, three. So I have three chains. You can continue until you have 72 chains. So I have chained 72 and I measure and it's around 45 centimeters. Now I'm going to show you how to start row one. Um, you have to chain five more. One, two, three, four, five. And now we are going to count seven chains after the hook. Two, four, six, seven, yarn over and insert into the eighth one and make one double crochet and you get a square like that so now chain two one two yarn over skip two chains one and two and insert into the third one and make one double crochet get another square so again you have to chain one and two now um, this is the chain where you double crochet you must keep one two two chains and insert into the third and make another double crochet you get a third square chain two yarn over skip two chains and insert into the third one one two yarn over skip two chains so one one and two and insert into the next one yarn over or chain two yarn over skip other two chains and insert into the third one and like that you continue until the end of this row two Skip and insert. So last time, chain two. Here we have our two chains. We skip. Now insert into the third one. So continue like that until the end of this row. And then I show you how to start row two. So now I'm at the end of this row and I just chain two as usual, yarn over and insert my hook into the last chain and make one double crochet. That's it. So right now we have just one row of squares now we start row two just chain one two three and two more 
So this chain three is like as if it's one double crochet and two more. So in total you chain five yarn over and here we have double crochet of the previous row. So we are going to make the double crochet into this double crochet of the previous row. So you get a square. Now chain two, uh, yarn over again, find the double crochet and make another double crochet on top of it. So now we are going to <coughs> yarn over and find another double crochet and make a double crochet under the two loops of the previous row double crochet. So you see the double crochet is on top of double crochet and you are making the squares of row two. As you can understand like that you have to continue until the end of this row. Then you are going to start row three as usual chain five then yarn over and make double crochet on top of it. So you have to make in total 10 rows. So I just thought that I want to show you how to finish the row when you have just the chain. So just chain two as usual, yarn over. Here we have to cut to count two chains, one, two, and insert into the third chain under both loops and make one double crochet. And we have the two squares and like that after each row chain three plus two more and <coughs> yarn over and make one double crochet on top of the previous row so you must go on like that one two and now you know everything to finish 10 rows so this is row three we have to make seven rows more and we start to make the sides of the bag i have crocheted 10 rows and my bottom is ready if you want at this point you can steam iron it to make it flat and now we are going to start to uh, crochet in a circle in a round so to create the sides <coughs> for this we are going to start with chain three one two three then two chain two more and we are going to yarn over and insert the hook into the same uh, double crochet that we crochet before so into this corner sorry I hold like that so into the so you created extra square uh, at the beginning and then we will crochet on this side and on this one and on this one we will make one increase at each corner and now we are going to continue with uh, as before uh, chain two yarn over and insert the hook into the next double crochet so you continue as normal without increase by crocheting into each uh, double crochet of the previous row and we are going to meet when you will be at this corner so i show you how to make an increase so now I'm at the other corner and I'm going to make another increase. 
So just chain two yarn over and here we have the instead of double crochet you have chain three so you must count one two three into the third one insert your hook oops sorry it's a bit hard okay and now I'm going to make one double crochet and we are going to chain two yarn over and make another double crochet into the same one where we just made one double crochet so it will look something like this two double crochet from the same chain three and as you can guess we continue until this corner and this corner so i will show you how to do how to make it here here i arrived where we had our tail and we must insert the hook exactly into that uh, chain right the very first one so you do the same you make a normal square and now an increase into the same one so now uh, we are going to continue until the end of this row that we will call row one so just continue on the this side so where you had already your double crochet you continue to make and we will make our increase here and connect here so i think you understood how to make increases here the same into the third one you make an increase as we made here so i have finished this row and now i have to chain two and uh, insert my hook into the third chain so one two three and slip stitch our row is done so our um bag will start to go like this and around and we are going to start um, our second row chain three then uh, two more and continue into the next one so this row will have no increases we just continue with uh, chain two one double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row so there are no increases you just go on like that into each double crochet of the previous row continue and here you will have to slip stitch and we will continue until uh, approximately the middle of the back so 24th row 
So I have crocheted 24 rows and in total I have, now I'm going to measure, if I measure from very top to the bottom I have around 32 centimeters and you can see here and um, if you count just from the one where we made an increase so where you have the two double crochet from the same stitch it's around 24 centimeters so you can count all your rows starting from this point you see it's like a v stitch where you have the two where we made the increase before we started the sides so if you count you will have 24 rows or if you want uh, you can make more rows so as already told you now we are going to create the edge of the bag and for that one i'm going to use another jute yarn but much thicker you can or chain or um put several strings of yarn together or just uh, crochet without putting anything if you prefer you can just go simply chain one and do like that that's also possible if you want more definite edge you can use this technique put another yarn you use but much thicker and go on like that so um let me check i will make chain one and i put the yarn on top of it and just crochet two single crochet into this square one single crochet on top of double crochet and continue until the end of this row two single crochet and one single crochet into the so it looks like that we meet when i finish i have finished this row i already cut the yarn and now I'm going to leave these things as they are and start with our handles. So don't cut the working yarn, just put them apart and we are starting with our uh, handles. I have these handles that I crocheted before and you can uh, have the link to the video tutorial that I published before. And they are very easy to make. I use the same yarn for the bag and I just uh, crochet them with the, I left the long uh, yarn tails so I use them for sewing the handles. So the link will be in the description and you can crochet them uh, before starting the bag so you don't have to cut the yarn and then start the bag and uh, here uh, we must find the center so we will start from the row where we had increases here was the increase and now we are going to cut uh, to count the squares so we don't count this one where we had an increase we start with the next full square so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so this is our center this is the 12 square and i need the left side of 12 square and now I go all the way up to the top to the top and here I put the marker that will tell me that this is the center of my bag 
so just place the marker here and now I'm going to sew the handle with the tapestry needle so I will try to do with this needle I'm not sure if it will work well so just try and now I have to count from the center stitch from this as uh, seven squares one two three four five six seven and I will um, sew it to the hand the handle between seven and eight square so just place the handle and Sew them with the stitches back and forth. Yeah, this needle works well. Don't worry, uh, you will have also the second row of crocheting where we will also crochet the handle. So it will be even uh, more durable. Continue to make more stitches and <clears throat> then uh, you have to do the same count from 7 to and between 7 and 8 square from the center you uh, sew the other handle and the other handle on the other side you do the same find the center stitch and sew the handles. So I have finished to sew the handles and now our bag looks already super cute. The handles are like that and later you can see them better. Now we are going to finish our border, our edge of the bag. I don't know exactly which word to say. Probably it will be the border of the bag. So we are going to start by doing the same as we before you can weave the ends of the thicker yarn so just place it on top first of all I slip stitch to the very first chain one so let's slip stitch here so you just slip stitch now chain one and put the all the ends on top so you just go where you see the single crochet just single crochet just go on like that And I want to arrive until the handles to show you how to make them even stronger. So just continue. This is our last row and then your bag is completely ready. So I have several tails of yarn, I just put all of them on top and go on. Later you can even cut them after you make few stitches to weave them in. So 
we arrive to very important point the handle it's very easy no worries so later I will cut that yarn um, here you do all the same single crochet but you must try to take the stitches both from the handle and the bag so just take and you move on so take this take some yarn from the bag and single crochet move to the next stitch so I want to catch this one and the last time I just take one from the side and single crochet so that looks like that just make it a bit more bit more durable <laughs> then under the handle you continue normal single crochet just go all around and the same you have to do under the next handle I hope you can see clearly all of my actions so it will look like that just continue until the end of this row so I'm going to show you how I weave the end I just slip stitched and finished the row so Leo I'm at the end of the row now I'm going to finish it just pull the yarn and now take the hook from the back side insert into your chain one the loop we started the row with and grab the hook move now you can put with my son thank you for your cactus and by the way the tutorial is also available on my channel for this cactus so we insert the hook from the other side to imitate the loop so from that side you just insert the hook and now we are going to hide the yarn on the other side so it just looks like that without any knots and then you can take a tapestry needle and Leo, don't make noises. And now uh, we are going to and just hide the yarn between the ends. Oh, sorry, between the stitches. Then pull, and you can cut the yarn. It will stay still there. So our bag is ready, now it's completely ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
If you like this video, please put like. If you don't like, you can put dislike. And I hope to bring you more useful tutorials in the nearest future. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.